also im endobronchialen Bereich. In the endobronchial area, the nice thing is that I can always see directly where it's bleeding. I see directly where the problem is, and I can intervene at the site of the bleeding using local procedures. What I personally like to do when there is bleeding from the tumor bed or from an ablation site is in some cases to use a bronchus blocker balloon, inflate it and simply stop the bleeding through the compression. In keeping with the motto, there is no bleeding that cannot be stopped by compression. Of course, you can also stop bleedings locally quite well using the argon plasma coagulator. But you can also use, for example, a noradrenaline solution or something similar. Some surgeons also take a cold saline solution, ice water or the like, rinse and wait. That brings us to the keyword. Waiting is sometimes sufficient in itself, because the thrombocytes usually do their job at some point. And in my view, if you have a little patience and the bleeding is not too heavy, waiting is often sufficient. In general, extra-thoracic primary tumors tend to bleed heavily. One is inwardly prepared for this. Perhaps in the case of such a patient, one has the argon plasma coagulator in the room and ready for use. Or you have the bronchus blocker balloon and the noradrenaline solution at hand that you don't have to wait for a long time. But beyond that, we don't really do anything except that we prepare ourselves inwardly for such a situation and perhaps also address it at the team timeout that this is a case where there could be more bleeding than usual. For example, what we are not doing now is to somehow cross erythrocyte concentrates or something like that. So the bleeding is usually not that heavy. There are always patients where one is surprised that there is hardly any bleeding at all, and then others where you do not expect there to be any heavy bleeding, which could be indicated when the bronchial mucosa is already diffuse, hyperemic, swollen, or something like that. Or you can see clearly if there are multiple pathological blood vessels on the tumor exophyte. Or one has not biopsied yet. Just use suction once briefly because of secretion, it already started to bleed. These are the cases where you think, I certainly do not have to do much for it to start bleeding.